Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Make It Till You Make It. Today, I'm just going to make a quick final cut transition using Motion 5. Um, I haven't made one yet for my channel, and it would be really nice to have just a stylized one that matches my titles and my lower thirds. So I'm going to show you how I do that, and, and it should be a pretty quick one. Uh, and just uh, I, got, I got a new little tool here uh, on my Mac called uh, Presentation Assistant, I think. Uh, so when I click with the left click, you'll see a little green circle. When I right click, you'll see a purple circle. So that'll help make clear, hopefully, what I'm doing. Um, so we're going to choose Final Cut Transition. And I'm going to do it as a 24 frames per second NTSC. I'm going to make it about a three second transition, not too long. And give me just one moment to adjust my window here. Okay, so when you make a transition, um, we're going from video A to video B, and it, uh, Motion automatically gives us that in this template, but it puts them in a single group. So the first thing we need to do is make a secondary group. I'm gonna call it group B, or group A and group B, and we need to put the video B in group B, and it needs to be beneath group A. There we go, that's where we want it. Okay, and in the timeline down here, we actually want to make sure that the group V video is there so that when we transition from one to the other, we can see actually both videos at the same time. But what we're going to do is just make a really simple animation. We're going to start in group A and I'm going to make a rectangle. And my rectangle here, uh, we need to change the geometry. We're going to make it take up the whole screen. We're gonna give it a little roundness around the edges. About 20 ought to do. And we're gonna center it. And then we need to do some keyframing. So we're gonna keyframe the, the rotation and the scale. And actually the rotation, we don't need all of them, just the Z rotation. Okay, and then of course we want to change the color. Make it our nice Make it till you make it green, teal, whatever. Now on that group, again, we're also going to place a rectangular mask. Now, as you can see, when I put that on, it covers up everything in the group, so both the rectangle and the transition, A, uh, and shows just inside the mask there, but we're gonna flip that around, so we're gonna change that to subtract, and that'll be inverted, so when this mask comes out, it will reveal the transition B behind it. So again here we're going to make it the full size screen, give it some rounded corners just like our other rectangle, and center it. Now this one only has Z because masks are only two-dimensional, but we're going to keyframe that and we're going to keyframe the scale. Now what I'm going to do is have a the square start tiny, almost infinitely small, and then rotate as it spins up. So let's start with the rectangle and animate that. And we're gonna have it take two seconds. And we're gonna have it rotate, we'll do one and a half, we'll do a 540. Okay, and we go back to our initial keyframe and we'll have it start at zero. Let's do that with our mask as well. Now we want the mask to rotate exactly the same as our rectangle. So let's make that keyframing first, give it the 540. But we want it to scale just a little bit different. So we're actually gonna have it start at scale just three frames in. So now, did it backwards, didn't I? Well, yes, I did. So now we get this nice square frame that rotates out. And the border, to me, I like this thickness where it is right here in the middle. So that's the difference in scaling we want to keep throughout the whole thing. So let's see if we can manage that right at 25, right at the halfway point, our 
rectangle is 50% and our mask is 46 and change. Now since the scaling starts three frames later, we should have the scaling end three frames later. So we'll go to our rectangle. We're gonna take its scaling, but not its rotation. And we're gonna select those all, hold the shift key, and assign those three frames earlier, if it will let me. There we go. Not bad. Okay. I like the look of that. Okay, now we're gonna add another animation starting one second in. So in this new group, I'm gonna put it on top. I'm gonna make another square. We're gonna make it our uh, make it till you make it purple. big, give it some round corners, and we're going to apply our mask on top as well. Again, we're going to make it subtract, full size, give it some round corners, and then we need to center both of these, we haven't done that yet. And we're going to put our keyframes in. Go to the last frame, make our rotation and our scaling. Oh, we have an extra keyframe in here we don't want. Let's get rid of that. Something has gone a little weird with the rotation of these second blocks. Let's see if we can figure out what that is. Oh, I know what it is. My mask is inside my rectangle. We don't want that. Yep, we made a mistake. We need to delete that. We need to make sure we select the group before we create the mask. Otherwise, weird things happen. Okay, and just like that, we have one square that creates transition and another square that comes out just for effect. We could add more. I may just play with the uh, easing of some of these transitions just to get a more even effect. In fact, I can already see something that's a little funny here. The uh, width of this is a little different than the width of that, so I'm gonna try and fix that, but Generally speaking, this is the idea we're going for. So just like that, we actually have a full transition. We have the video in, one square reveals video B, another square for effect, and then boom, we're in video B. Three second transition. Easy. The last thing we have to do is we didn't save the file yet, so we need to go to file and save and give it a name. We're gonna call this the make it transition. Give it a category, uh, we'll call, it, call it YouTube channel transitions, uh, no theme, and we're gonna hit publish. And this saves the file, but it also publishes it to Final Cut. So next time we open Final Cut, it'll be right in there and we can use it right away. Well, we made it. So it didn't take too long, and, and if I can make it, you can make it. So make it until you make it.